Did you know our planet is slowly eating itself? It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's happening right now, every single day beneath our feet. Deep below the ground you walk on, Earth is constantly pulling its own crust down into the fiery, churning interior. This process is relentless, unstoppable, and has been shaping our world for billions of years. This isn't science fiction. It's a real, mind-blowing process happening right now. The ground beneath us is in constant motion, even if we can't feel it. Huge, continent-sized slabs of crust are dragged downward, disappearing over millions of years. Imagine entire continents slowly vanishing, recycled by the planet itself. The surface we live on isn't permanent. Mountains rise and fall, oceans open and close, and volcanoes reshape the land, all because of these powerful forces deep inside Earth. Tectonic plates are always moving, sometimes one sliding under another in a process called subduction, Earth swallowing its own skin. This is how new land is created and old land is destroyed in a never-ending cycle. For years, scientists thought this was just plates colliding, but new evidence points to something stranger, a hidden force deep inside the planet, influencing everything from earthquakes to the shape of continents. Scientists can't dig to the center, so they use seismic waves from earthquakes to see inside Earth, like a giant ultrasound. These waves reveal secrets hidden thousands of kilometers below the surface. What they've found is astonishing. Two colossal, mysterious blobs lurking deep inside the Earth. These aren't just small features. They're among the largest structures on the planet. These blobs are so massive, they dwarf continents, sitting at the bottom of the mantle, just above the core. If you could place them on the surface, they'd cover entire countries. And here's the wild part. These blobs seem to be in control, pulling the crust down and driving the engine of our planet's geology. They might be the reason why plates move the way they do and why some areas are more active than others. Our world is far more alive and active than it appears on the surface. The ground beneath us is constantly shifting, driven by forces we're only just beginning to understand. The discovery of these blobs is rewriting what we know about Earth. It's changing our understanding of how the planet works and what the future might hold. They're not just passive features, they're the hidden puppet masters of our planet, orchestrating earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and even the movement of continents. Let's peel back the layers and see what's really going on beneath our feet. The story of Earth eating itself is just beginning and there's so much more to discover. To truly understand these mysterious blobs deep within our planet, let's embark on a journey to the very center of the Earth, peeling back each layer as we go. Imagine Earth as a giant onion. Its outermost layer is a thin, fragile crust, broken into massive, drifting tectonic plates that are constantly on the move. Just beneath this crust lies the mantle, a vast region of hot, dense rock. Although it seems solid, the mantle actually flows very slowly, almost like thick caramel and this movement is what drives the shifting plates above. This slow, churning motion, known as convection, is responsible for shaping our continents, building mountains, and fueling volcanic eruptions over billions of years. If we travel even deeper, we reach the core, a swirling, liquid outer layer made of molten iron and nickel. This restless sea of metal generates Earth's powerful magnetic field, which protects us from harmful solar radiation. At the very center, under unimaginable pressure, sits the solid inner core, a dense metallic ball hotter than the surface of the sun. For many years, scientists believed the mantle was a uniform, featureless layer stretching between the crust and the core. But recent discoveries have revealed that the boundary between the mantle and the core is anything but simple. It's a bizarre, dynamic region full of unexpected activity and strange structures. It's here, nearly 3,000 kilometers beneath our feet, that scientists have found enormous, mysterious blobs, giant structures unlike anything else inside our planet. These blobs aren't just geological oddities. They play a fundamental role in shaping how our planet works, influencing everything from volcanic hotspots to the movement of continents. The old, simple map of Earth's interior, just crust, mantle, and core, is now out of date. The real story is far more complex, filled with hidden layers and dynamic features that make our planet endlessly fascinating. So what exactly are these mysterious blobs lurking deep within the Earth? Let's dive in and meet them. Scientists call them Large Low Shear Velocity Provinces, or LLSVPs. They were discovered because seismic waves slow down dramatically when passing through them, 
revealing they're different from the surrounding mantle, hotter, denser, or chemically unique. There are two, one beneath the Pacific Ocean, the other under Africa and the Atlantic. These blobs are thousands of kilometers across, rising from the core mantle boundary like upside-down mountain ranges. They're not just anomalies, they're major features of Earth's deep interior. Decades of earthquake data and seismic tomography have brought them into focus, like a CT scan for the planet. Their origins are still debated. Are they ancient relics or graveyards for subducted crust? What's clear is they're dynamic, powerful, and shaping the world above. The most astonishing part? It's not just earthquakes or volcanoes that move continents, there's something even deeper at play, hidden far beneath our feet. These mysterious blobs, deep within the Earth, seem to control the movement of tectonic plates, acting as unseen engines of planetary change. Picture the mantle as a gigantic pot of thick, bubbling soup, churning slowly over millions of years, with the LLSVPs, these large low shear velocity provinces, acting as dense, mysterious clumps settled at the very bottom, like heavy ingredients that refuse to mix. These blobs generate immense heat, creating hot plumes that rise upward through the mantle, fueling volcanic hotspots at the surface, such as the spectacular eruptions in Hawaii and Iceland and shaping the land above, but their influence doesn't stop there. The edges of these blobs align with many of the world's subduction zones where tectonic plates are pulled down into the mantle. It's almost as if the blobs create a powerful downward suction, drawing in the plates above them with invisible force. This process drags oceanic crust deep into the earth, recycling it in a never-ending cycle of destruction and renewal. This isn't just passive sinking, it's an active, dynamic process, driven by the energy and movement of these deep earth blobs. The blobs drive a massive circulation pattern in the mantle, powering the movement of continents, the opening and closing of oceans, and even determining where mountain ranges rise up from the ground and where volcanoes erupt with fiery force. All of these are tied to the actions of these deep earth giants. In a way, they're the hidden puppet masters of plate tectonics, pulling the strings from the depths. The ever-changing face of our planet's surface is a direct result of their powerful influence, shaping continents and oceans over eons. The geography we know, the mountains, valleys, and coastlines, is sculpted by dramatic events unfolding thousands of kilometers below. The story of Earth's surface, with all its beauty and violence, truly begins deep underground, where these colossal blobs quietly shape our world. Earth is locked in a slow-motion tug-of-war. Upward, mantle plumes from the blobs break continents apart, like the East African Rift, where Africa is slowly splitting. Downward, the blob's edges pull crust into the mantle, creating deep trenches and volcanic arcs. This cycle of creation and destruction recycles elements, releases heat, and drives the chemical cycles that make life possible. The LLSVPs act as anchors, stable for hundreds of millions of years. Their positions may explain why supercontinents like Pangaea broke apart where they did. Without this constant motion, Earth might be as geologically dead as Mars. The discovery of LLSVPs reveals a more organized, powerful system than we ever imagined. The deepest parts of the planet are connected to the surface in ways we're only beginning to understand. Why does any of this matter to us? Because these blobs influence disasters that affect millions. Subduction zones above the blobs are hotspots for explosive volcanoes, like Mount St. Helens and Mount Fuji. The same zones produce the world's most destructive earthquakes, such as the 2004 Indian Ocean and 2011 Tohoku quakes. Understanding the blobs could help us predict where volcanic and earthquake activity will be most intense. Some scientists think pulses of heat from the blobs triggered supervolcano eruptions and even mass extinctions. The blob's behavior is key to understanding Earth's past and its future risks. These deep forces shape the hazards we face on the surface. The more we learn, the safer we can be. What are the blobs made of? That's still a mystery. One theory, they're piles of recycled oceanic crust, chemically distinct from the mantle. Another, they're remnants of Theia, a planet that collided with Earth billions of years ago, leaving chunks deep inside. Scientists study lava from hotspots like Hawaii for chemical clues. These lavas have unique isotopes, hinting at the blob's makeup. The data is complex and the debate is ongoing. 
the answer could rewrite our understanding of Earth's and even the Moon's formation. Every new earthquake and rock sample adds a piece to the puzzle. Science is about peeling back layers, and the blobs are one of our biggest mysteries. Solving it could change how we see our planet. The truth is still hidden in the dark. Should we worry about continent-eating blobs? Not really. These processes are incredibly slow. Tectonic plates move as fast as your fingernails grow. Catastrophic events are rare, and the underlying engine moves at a geological snail's pace. The discovery of LLSVPs doesn't make Earth more dangerous, it just means we understand it better. This knowledge helps scientists forecast long-term hazards and improve disaster preparedness. We can't predict the next big earthquake, but we can identify high-risk regions. Knowledge is safety, not fear. The LLSVPs show Earth is robust and self-regulating, creating the conditions for life. Our job is to understand and respect the planet's power. The more we know, the safer we can live. The discovery of LLSVPs is a reminder. Earth is alive, dynamic, and full of secrets. We've mapped the surface, but the interior is still a frontier. Now we're shining a light into the depths, finding a world more interconnected than we imagined. The slow churn at the core mantle boundary shapes volcanoes, continents, and coastlines. We live on the thin skin of a complex, active system. There's still so much we don't know. How did the blobs form? Will they move? Are there more? Every answer leads to new questions, driving science forward. Next time you look at a map, remember the hidden giants shaping our world from below. Our planet is a place of endless wonder, with mysteries still waiting in the dark. The journey to understand Earth has only just begun.